Businessman Andy Gutman is well known in Southfield as the president and chief financial officer for the commercial real estate giant, the Farben Group. By day, he refers to himself as a boring yet hardworking businessman, but by night, he transforms into a children's book author and musician. You know, I've been writing songs, I've been writing lyrics and poems uh, ever since I was a kid, and I do that in my free time. Uh, I'm not much of a sleeper, so when everyone else in the world is asleep, I do a lot of writing. Uh, my inspiration for most of what I do in life is my daughter and trying to leave a good legacy for her, trying to teach her life lessons. And um, she's probably my biggest inspiration that made me finally take what's been on paper for years and turn that into songs and turn that into books. Andy's ability to go beyond the suit and tie and channel his creativity mirrors the main character's story in his first book, Charlie the Caterpillar. Charlie was the, was the first book I wrote. Um, and Charlie came from, a, I was on a, a road trip, we were just driving somewhere, my daughter, my wife and I, and my daughter and wife were talking about, uh, my daughter was studying butterflies and caterpillars at school, and uh, she was saying, well, what, what happens while the caterpillar's in the cocoon? And uh, it's, a, it's a really in, unique process that goes on while it's in there, but I didn't think that was worth explaining to her at the moment. She was, she was imagining all the cool things going on, like the caterpillars trying on different wings and trying on different outfits. And it was more of a fashion show in her mind. And so I'm like, oh, that's really cool. We should write a song about that. And uh, she said, well, Dad, no, you're so embarrassing. Don't do that. And so I did. Oh, this is a story of a cute caterpillar looking in the mirror and wishing he was bigger. Doesn't know it now, but surely is a winner. Everybody else can see. This is a story of a cute caterpillar feeling like he's small and more than I said, well, we should you know, turn that into a book. And she said, no, Dad, don't. That's, that's really embarrassing if you do that. And so I did. Um, and, and it really is. It uh, became more about a lesson for her, for kids, and uh, she always hates when I turn things into a lesson. But the idea behind it was uh, that everyone has unique qualities. You know, my daughter was so focused on how beautiful of a butterfly this this gray caterpillar would become that I wanted her to also understand that that gray caterpillar is just as beautiful as any butterfly. It's just unique and different in its own way, and I wanted her to understand that we all are. And it's, it's great to find those special and unique things that make everyone uh, a, a perfect person in their own way. The book stems from Andy's personal experiences with his daughter, with story themes about bedtime battles between a baby and father and the emotional roller coaster of being the child of a working parent. Pop Lullaby to me, so when my daughter was really young, she was not a good sleeper. And so when you're a parent and you're going through the, the lack of sleep yourself, you try to do anything you can to get your kid to go to sleep and find ways uh, just to make her laugh or smile or, if nothing else, get some rest. And Pop Lullaby really sprung from, uh, I used to make up songs to try to get her to sleep. And I always tell people, I'm a songwriter, uh, I, I you know, make music, but I can't sing and I can't play instruments. So I always think with Pop Lullaby, my daughter would finally go to sleep just so I'd stop singing to her. I even was one of the first songs I wrote for my daughter. And it came after there was a, a series of a few days where I was, I was working when she was asleep in the morning and I was working when uh, she was asleep at night. I'd get home and I'd see her beautiful sleeping face, but that's all I got to see. And it made me very thoughtful. Um, does she know how loved she is even when I'm not around? And so the, the book even really came from that. It was intended to, to be something that she can always rely upon and look at and go, you know, my dad loves me even if he can't always be with me. And parents who do work, you know what that feeling is like. Even when I'm not with you, I'm always there. Even when I'm far away in my mind, you'll stay. Uh, you know, for me, this was uh, a long project to get to the point where I knew how to get a book published. And I'm still learning every day. I learned what I did wrong in the first one. I, but I wouldn't change the experience for anything. So I would say, if you want to do something, you know, there's no time like the present for your kids. And that's really what inspired me to do it is I kind of felt like, you know, you never know that we all have only so many days on this earth and you don't know. Uh, so we all kind of put that off. I'll do that at some point in time. And to me, it's just starting that up, whether it's something you share with your kids just themselves, whether it's something you publish for them. Um, but
but take those times, do those experiences. If you know, if you're good at crocheting, crochet them something they can keep with them forever. Uh, but those are the things that, that, it's the reason I did that is I wanted to have that legacy. And I think parents in general, um, having that ability that there's something personal that you, you know, you pass along to your kids, whatever your talent, whatever your art is worth doing. And there's always that legacy for my daughter and there's things that she'll have for the rest of her life. And, um, and she'll be able to share and enjoy the happy times, the sad times. And uh, hopefully that's, that's something that all parents want for their kids. For more information about author and composer Andy Gutman and information about his books and music, go to www.gutcheckpublishing.com.